devour, devour. I have to warn everyone, warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of DSB Tries It. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> and this one's a lot different. It is early in the morning and as you can see I am in my natural state. hair looks like as soon as I wake up before I do many hours of uh, hair styling and preparation. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Several pounds of product, of course. Today we're going to be doing something that you would do right away in the morning as well. And you can get this, if you live at least in the United States, you can get this at your local uh, grocery store or any kind of store that sells this product, as you'll see in a moment. We actually just saw this at our local grocery store and we said, what the heck, this is something good, something different for DSP Tries It that we never do. Let's try a new kind of coffee. And this is the Starbucks, boy, this color is not very good, it's very yellow. Ugh. The Starbucks Fall 2015 Blend. It's actually considered a medium roast coffee. And this is the Keurig K-Cups. We actually have a Keurig, uh, or Keurig, or however you say it, coffee machine. And this is what we use to actually have coffee in the mornings. This is actually our Keurig uh, carousel of coffee. You know, various ciders, coffees, and things that we usually do. Hot cocoa, tea. But uh, today we're going to be trying this one. Now, I've never had, like, a Starbucks seasonal coffee. According to this, it says, This is a hearty and refined blend with fresh spice notes. Each coffee requires a slightly different roast to reach its peak of aroma. Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to see. We're going to see what it tastes like. Here, here we go. Fall blend. Combining the finest coffees from all three growing regions. This full-bodied blend returns for another harvest season. Sumatran beans lend the warmth of fresh spice notes. Coffees from Kenya add a citrusy brightness, and beans from Peru provide balance and a subtle nuttiness. And of course, the most freshest raised beans from Newark, New Jersey add a eggy touch. <laughs> Together, they create a cup that's hearty and refined. A perfect segue, seg segue, seg seg I don't know, segue. To the crisp, I don't think I've ever seen that word written out like that. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I've seen the Segway from, uh, what is that company? The Segway company, where people roll off cliffs. But anyway. Not the same thing. So here it is. We're going to brew two cups. One for each of us, and we're each going to try it. This is how Kurig works, by the way. You get these little K-cups, right? This is enough for one cup. For anyone who's never seen a K-cup brewer yet. You put it in there. Close it down. Put your cup underneath. Position it properly. When it's blinking and ready, you push the button. And within a minute, you've got a piping hot, fresh cup of coffee. No need to boil water. No need to go my God, boiling use water. a microwave. None of that. Look. My God, microwaving. Look at that beautiful bean goodness. Hmm. Can't really smell it yet. Oh, now I got a whiff of it. So medium roast supposed to be not too, too light, not too you know, rich. Coffee, when it's a dark rose, can be really intense That's and bitter. That's why you put things in, like, citrus. It's like making soap. You don't want something to smell too much like one thing, so you put in mm. other similar things to keep it from just being overwhelming mm -hmm. or too yeah. strong. Too it's got good. a good aroma to it. Well, this is yours. Oh, it's mine? Yep. Shit. You can take that one over, and you can put your creamer and your, uh, your sugar and everything in it. So you gotta be careful when you take one out, because they will drip. And they're hot. Yep. You put another one in. Oh, Oop. And this one's brewing. So... I don't know if I'm gonna use creamer right away because I do want to taste it, but we do have various creamers in the fridge. Oh. Leanna's favorite is the Bailey's uh, Mudslide Creamer. Yeah, you can drink your coffee black. <clears throat> Here we go. My cup. Fall Blend 2015. This is unique too because this is their 2015 blend. Every year they do it, it's a little different. So. Probably because it's hard mm. to source the exact same ingredients. Mm, it does smell good. 
Okay, I think it's actually Starbucks that's known for using Sumatran coffee beans. They use coffee for, like, literally everywhere. Okay, so. Here's a fresh brewed cup of the fall blend. All right. Like I said, I'm not going to put sugar or cream or anything. I'm just going to taste it plain first. Yeah, okay. To try to give an opinion of what I think. Because I've had various coffees over the years. I'll be honest, I really don't like those lighter blonde roasts. I think those are too weak. At the same time, I don't really go for, like, the dark, dark Italian roast. Those things are like chewing coffee beans. You drink Giovanni. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's but that's, that's, it's still considered a medium roast. So there. Jesus, that's the darkest medium <laughs> roast. All right, so, let me get a whiff first of all. Mmm. Oh. Yes. The rich aroma of the fall blend. I can smell the Kenyans mixing with the Sumatrans and the, the Newark, New Jerseyans. Very good flavors. <laughs> I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. I believe Hawaii is the <clears throat> only U.S. state that grows coffee. That can oh, yeah? Grow coffee, yes. And then what are they growing in Newark? Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good smell. It's got a little bit of a... It's very bitter, but it's got a little bit of a... Almost a... a not a tartness, but almost like a saltiness. Salt, 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 90% of the time. To the aroma. And that's, you know, that's a sign that there's a different kinds of coffee beans mixed into it. Well, I'm going to give it a sip in a second. I just don't want to burn my mouth. I'm going to let it cool down for another second here. Mmm. Those smell good. All right. Let's see. Ah! Devour. Devour. Mmm. It's, it's gross. My disgusting pig-like mouth. Do you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? Oh, that sound. Mmm. Oh. See, that's interesting. So... It's bitter, but it almost has this aftertaste to it that's different than a normal cup of coffee. Ooh, let me sip. Well, I see. The one with the cream the see, this is your problem. You put know. too much stuff into it, and now you can't taste it. Well, no. I don't know if there is a difference or if I really have tasted it. It's got like a little bit of an aftertaste to it, and I can't really place the aftertaste. Ooh, that's bitter. But yeah, there is an aftertaste of something. Yeah, and normally coffee wouldn't have, it would just taste bitter, bitter, bitter. This stuff has a little bit of a almost spiciness to it. That's kind of unique. It's probably because fall uses a lot of spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg, mm. clove. Those are all really common. Ones. Devour, Coffee devour. Levels. Yeah. Mmm. I don't, I, I don't even know how I can describe it. It really does actually taste like something you would want in the fall. Yeah, it kind of It's does. invigorating, but it's different. You know, it doesn't feel refreshing. It feels like it has almost like a small bite to it after you're done with a sip. It needs it needs sugar, though, because it's pretty bitter on that first sip. Well, I'm okay. With, I, I, I drink black coffee. I do drink coffee with sugar and creamer. Typically, if I drink regular coffee, I just have sugar. If I'm having, a, like, an iced coffee, then I like it with creamer and other stuff because it makes it more of a sweet drink. You know that you can have. I just love flavored coffee, so that Bailey's one side <clears throat> is my favorite. Mm. So it's pretty good. Now here's the catch. I just want to make this abundantly clear to everyone, so no one has any kind of misconceptions, okay, about Starbucks coffee. Let's be honest here. It's fucking expensive, okay. This box of coffee, <clears throat> I believe, for was it a 24 pack or a 16 pack? This was a 10 pack. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think this cost like six or seven bucks. It's ridiculously expensive. I think it was like five seventy-five at the store. Was it really? Something okay. Like yeah, it's pretty expensive, and you can get bigger ones. Like you get sixteen or twenty-four as well. We didn't get the big one because we didn't. We want. You know, we're testing it. We didn't know if we were gonna and we like it. We already have a million different coffees. Yeah, I mean, we even got look down here. This is what Leanna was mentioning. We got this is the Juvali. This is what I usually drink. Seattle's best is more like a a, a little bit less strong. The Pike They're Place is a little less strong. Now, I believe. <laughs> so all these different. You know, brews that we use is iced tea, two different iced teas, hot cocoa. So we've got all these different things that we brew, especially during the, the fall and winter is when we go crazy yeah. with this thing. Every morning we usually have something. But I just want to make it abundantly clear, this is not cheap. You know, this is, 
you, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money on it. But let's face it, it's also not as expensive as going to Starbucks. Going to Starbucks, getting a cup of coffee these days can be three to five bucks sometimes. So, you know, this, it's less than a dollar a cup, and it's really the same coffee, just you're brewing it at home. And, of course, you have to add everything you want yourself. If you want your creamer, you want your sugar, etc. But I like this cup. I don't. It's hard for me to judge on a number scale, you know, or, or a star scale, because it's like... How do you judge coffee when I... This is the first cup of coffee that I've ever drank at GSP Tries It. So for me, it's kind of like the base point. You know what I mean? Does it blow me away? Is it the best cup of coffee I've ever had? No. Is it bad? Absolutely not. It's actually pretty flavorful. So it's kind of, for me, middle of the road. What's going on down there? Hey. How dare you? We interrupted the video. How dare you? <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of middle of the road, but it's pricey, but it's also tasting pretty good. I guess I will give the Starbucks Fall Blend 2015 Coffee Roast a 4 out of 5. How about that? They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including... One that I know to all too well, gout. Gout, 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 McFist, gout, fucking butt, fuck, gout, farts, gout, gout, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's another one. How's the gout, Phil? Another idiot. How's the gout? How's the gout? Who was it? Hold on, I got, now I have to freaking manually mute everything. How's that Seattle air feel? Yes, I won't play a game, yes. Alright, yes. you will. Don't worry, you will. I just gotta find out who this idiot is now. Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gal? Go ahead. How's that Seattle air? Come on, say it again. Man, you're so dumb, I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gal? <laughs> Come on. So with the gal, how's your daughter? <laughs> He's still saying it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me a cracker. Wow. Now what ended up happening was I ended up getting an acid level uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gabby fat, but feels the gabby fat, but. It's good, it's flavorful, it's got a little bit of a cool aftertaste that's different from other coffee. Not too bitter, not too, you know, light or wimpy. And it's a little expensive, but for what you're paying, you're getting a pretty good cup of coffee. Fair enough? Uh, I say three and a half. I say oh, three. I just have to nitpick you when you're well, it is expensive, and I would I don't drink you. coffee just black. I, I can't do it. The, the bitterness is too much for me. I don't take bitter flavors very well. Just another sip. But I, when I don't drink, if there's no creamer, I do take it with a little sugar sometimes, and that usually does fix it up. But it is kind of expensive. Devour. But Devour. it is cheaper than going mm -hmm. all the way to Starbucks. Mm, I like the aftertaste. I think yeah, the aftertaste okay. is actually better than the regular, the, the regular taste of the coffee. So, this was our first coffee tasting. If you liked it, let us know in the comments of the video. Say, you know, oh, you know, this is cool, something different, or, like, this is boring as shit. Let us know if you like this. Not to say that we're going to do it all the time, but we will add various, you know, drinks to our repertoire of DSP Tries It, and it can make it, you know, a different thing rather than me just doing, like, fast food and stuff all the time, okay? So, wow. Why am I so zoomed in? There we go. So that is it for DSP Tries It. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time for another episode. Let us know in the comments what you thought. And that is it. Peace out.